Welcome back to the new video. In the previous video, we have seen how to clone any Git repo and transfer it into the virtual machine. On the virtual machine one, we have already transferred our Git repo using SFTP and Git clone as well. So you can choose any one of the option. And once we are done with that, the next step would be the creating the crypto materials. And first of all, before that, we will go through the folder structure, what kind of folder structure we are going to follow. So let's see that. As I already mentioned, so this multi host deployment course, we are going to use total four organizations. So on the screen, you can see here. So we have total four virtual machines as well, like for each organization, one virtual machine for organization one where VM one is there for organization two VM two is there for organization three VM three is there and for order organization VM four is there. These four virtual machines we have already created. So what are the different components available inside each and every organization and how they are going to communicate with each other. So that part we are going to start from this video onward. We will create a Docker Swarm network to have a communication between these all the different organization across this different virtual machine. We will create one channel, deploy some chain code with a business logic and after that we will invoke transactions, query transactions that all the parts we are going to do. So what are the different components available inside each and every organization yeah so on the screen you can see here so this is the first organization that is virtual machine one this is the virtual machine two virtual machine three and the virtual machine four all the components related to the organization one all the services would be deployed on the virtual machine one for organization two it would be deployed on the virtual machine two or for r three virtual machine three and finally for all the orderers, we will be deployed on the virtual machine 4. This is the configuration we are going to use for our application. So in the organization 1, you can see here we have two peers. For organization 2 as well, we have two peers. For organization 3 as well, we have two peers. And finally, orderer organization, we have three different orderers. And each organi peer organization have two peers. And one of the peer is the endorsing peer. You can see here peer zero in each organization. In each peer organization, it's a endorsing peer. It's hold the smart contract. Each peer you can see we are using currency database as the cow's database. This is the ledger. Each peer will have a ledger, and inside the ledger, we will have a chain of the blocks and the current state database. And in this video series, we are going to use current state database as a cows database so we will have a separate service for each cows database for peer okay talking about the certificate authority each and every certificate required for this participant in the organization we will be creating using the certificate authority so each organization have their own certificate authority once we deploy this certificate authority using this ca we are we are going to create all the necessary participant certificate like peers admins and all for msp as well for the organization these all the things we are going to create using certificate authority of each their own organizations so you can see this certificate authority one is belongs to organization one certificate authority two or two certificate authority three or three and finally certificate authority four for the order organization in this way we have dedicated certificate authority for each and every organization and we will have such setup that organization one related services will be available on the VM one and organization two related services will be available on VM two, three on VM three. And finally, all the orderers will be running on the virtual machine four. So these are the separate virtual machines we have already created. And once we create this setup, we can create a channel between these three organization. You can see in the diagram channel this is the channel we have created in between organization one, organization two and organization three. And using this channel, we'll have a communication between these three organizations using some smart contract. And we are going to create this network using Docker Swarm network so that these different services of the different peer, different organization can communicate with each other directly. So when we talk about the number of services, so how many services we would have for each peer, we will have two services per organization for peer for cows database two. So total four services here. Another one thing for certificate authority, one service, one service that is total five services. And finally, this is the API server for virtual machine one. 
for organization one we will be having one dedicated api server that will be containerized so that we can just interact with the hyperledger fabric network from the outside maybe from the local machine directly using postman client so these are the different services that will be available on the virtual machine one for the virtual machine two again for two services for two pair and two services for cow database that is total four services and one service would be certified authority total five services for organization three again we will have same five services and finally for orderer we will have three services like these three containers for the three orderers and for one for certified authority so for the order organization we will have total four services addition to this six services in the organization one we will have one cli container so cli container have some special purpose when we talk about interacting with the network i will let you know what is the purpose of that cli container so so that would be easy to understand at the same time when we are talking about the that purpose okay so these are the different services will be available on each virtual machines these services are nothing but just the docker containers will be running on this for some specific port so for that we have some configuration it's already available inside the git repo so we will go through that folder structure as well i hope you understand what kind of configuration we are going to create for the multi host fabric deployment so these are the different virtual machines and they will host these different services for each organization in the next video we will go through the folder structure what kind of folder structure we are going to follow in the git repo see you in the next one